ho-ho in the bottle of rum. How's it going, my fellow homo sapiens? It's your boy, Uzi Makado, doing a Dead Pro Deck review on a new Archetype Pinnacle Summon Monsters called Quiff Pod. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is the new brokenness, the new hotness. Are you aroused? Well, I am. So let's get this party started. This deck right here is insane. I mean, I was just caught off guard with the skills and just the, the sheer power that go into this deck. So personally, at first I wasn't really too excited about um, these Pentamon summons. For a simple reason, it was a whole nother thing I had to learn. And not just that, it's a lot of reading on these cards. I mean, like that, damn. And they have so many different effects. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to keep playing the deck I love playing right now, and that is Shaw Dolls. However, I seen some new support for these for this deck, and I'm like, you know what? I got to make it. This deck is just too good not to play it. So basically, this deck is these shell slash these shell machine type monsters they seem like some type of spaceship or some alien type spaceship i'm not for sure but basically they're all tribute monsters but you can normal summon them all by this normal summoning but they lose a certain amount of attack and they become level four so i think they all become 1800 if you normal summon them without tribute so Let's go ahead and talk about this deck build. Because this deck build is really, really good. I'm enjoying this deck build. I lost maybe like two or three matches out of the multiple matches I've had played. And this is the only deck right now that I can truly see that can beat Shaw Dolls. So, let's talk about the first card. Tool. Tool is a normal monster. You would think that this normal monster is bad. You know, because personally, I do not play normal monsters. But this normal monster is fucking great. Oh my god. This normal monster is a searcher. His effect is, his minimum effect is, you can pay 800 life points to add one Quiff Pod card from your deck to your hand, except Quiff Tool. Now, I'm not going to say Quiff Pod too many times because I don't, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but forgive me. And it's a uh, scale of nine. This card is so such a great card you can abuse this card so many times it's, it's really interesting this is not a once per turn um effect it just you do it once but if you set this if you play this card again do it again oh my god this is so great this this is a searcher and that's that it's 28 defense and it's a normal monster it's like wow this is the best normal monster i have ever seen so we're going to go to shell basically what this card does is when it's in the pinnacle zone, all your opponent monsters lose 300 attack. Oh my god. Now at first you're probably thinking to yourself, 300? That's not a lot. But in reality, this card is really, really good for a simple reason. Not like, um, what's that old card that it lose 100 for each star it had? Was it, ah, uh, oh man, I can't think of the name of it. But like, it loses 100 for each card. It's a continuous spell card. Bird of Mighty. Yeah, there we go. Bird of Mighty. It might, this card reminds me of Bird of Mighty, but better. Um, for a simple reason, it doesn't matter how many stars or levels it has. It just decreases as long as it's in the Pentamal Zone. But this card effect is you can normal summon it without tribute. It becomes an 1800 beater. However, if you tribute summon this card, you can um, attack. Like If you attack the defense position monster and this attack is higher, it can um, pierce that monster. So it has piercing. Really, really good card. And another thing a lot of people don't know is if a monster has a lower rank or level, then these card, these, these quill pods, they're unaffected by their effects. Oh my goodness. Like, oh, I don't have to worry about monster effects in this. Not just that. When you pen on summon these uh, quill pod monsters, they're, they cannot be negated. Oh my God. That is, do we talk that? Oh my goodness. I'm just lost of words. They cannot be negated when you're um, summoning these guys. And have you seen the field card? Oh my goodness. We'll get to that later. We're running three discs. So basically what this does, it when it's in the pinnacle summon, in the pinnacle zone, it gives all your quiff odds 300 attack. So check this. 
all your monsters gain 300 attack when it's in the um when this card is in the pinnacle zone. And if this card is in the pinnacle zone, all your opponent monsters lose 300. Insane. It don't sound like a lot, but it is. Especially when you normal summon a monster and it's 1800 and you have this in your pinnacle zone and it, it gains 300, that's, that's 21. Crazy. This craziness. And when this card is tribute for a Quiff Pod, you can special summon two Quiff Pod monsters from your deck, but it's destroyed at the end phase. Who gives a damn? You know? Now, one thing I do notice, as long as these cards is in the pinnacle zone, you cannot exceed for other um, monsters. But, you know, or, or exceed for other monsters. But you know what? I don't care. That's, that's not a problem. Or you cannot special summon except these monsters here. Sorry about that. You can't special summon except Quiff Pods. This guy here, fucking awesome. Once again, you can normal summon him without tribute. But the cool thing about this card is when this card is tribute for a, a quick pod, you can return one monster on the field to your opponent's hand. Uh, uh. 2400 attack, 1000 defense. Now, this guy here, I really like. Uh, Geno, Geno, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Geno. Basically, once again, the same stuff. If this card is in the pinnacle zone, your opponent monsters lose um, 300 attack. And um, when this card is tribute for a Quick Pop monster, you can destroy one Spell or Trap card on the field. Great. Three trampolines. Now, you're thinking, why run this? Oh my goodness. With trampoline and tool, it is so broken. So basically what you're going to do is tra put trampling on one side, put tool on one side, pay 800, get yourself a pinnacle monster, special summon that monster. This effect allows you to bounce one um, pinnacle card from your pinnacle zone. Bounce tool, play tool again, pay 800, and special summon again. Oh my goodness. Oh, also oh beautiful. We're running three odd eyes. Now, basically what this card does, it allows you to search out, at the end phase, it allows you to search out your um, Quiff Tool, your Quiff Tools from your deck, and it's good with special summoning on um, these monsters here when it's in the pinnacle zone. Now, one thing I will say about this card, I haven't actually used this, I haven't normal summoned this card at all, I haven't even special summoned this card at all, but uh, when this card attacks your opponent, I believe it does double the damage, yeah, it does double the battle damage, I think that's pretty interesting, but... Overall, once the new um, Pinnacle cards get added to Dead Pro, I most likely would make this down to maybe one or two. I'm not for sure, but right now I'm running three. Now, Summoner Art. I'm running three of these. The main reason is I can search these puppies out. Get them out. Just search them out. Just hands down. Really easy. And not just that, it, it keeps me with hand control. Pot of Duality. Now, some people probably think, this is not a good tech. I like Potter Duality. The main reason is it keeps the deck consistent. Not just that, I don't need to keep special summoning, special summoning, special summoning to win this game. You know what I'm saying? Usually I can just set up my monsters on the field and be comfortable. If I'm having an extremely bad hand, I'm going to go for Pot for a simple reason. If I can get one of these guys in the pinnacle zone, I can increase my monster attacks by 300 and boost my monster attacks. And if their monster has some type of effect that's going to attempt to affect my quick pods, they won't be affected because most likely their monster is going to be much smaller than my monsters. Hopefully. Three MSTs. Great card. There's really nothing else to say about it. Blow up a magic trap card or a monster in the pinnacle zone. I'm going to be truthful with you. I said it. I got to play it smart. I mean, um, artifacts is not a threat with this deck. But uh, I gotta play it smart. I haven't had a problem playing this deck with uh, against all dolls, but you know, three MSTs, not a problem. You gonna set two in the back row? Your end phase? Give me that back row. If I get mad, get destroy it and send it to the graveyard. Now the Monarch Storm, Storm, Force or whatever. I'm just kind of taking this in just to see how I like it. I'm gonna be taking this card out. But so far, it's kind of working. Like, your opponent might have a monster, 
and I don't want to tribute none of my monsters. I would tribute theirs. But in reality, you kind of want to tribute your monsters so you can get their secondary effect. Like uh, returning something to the hand or attacking through defense or, you know, blowing up a match in a trap card or special summon other coins. So I'm most likely going to take this out. Three, Dimension in Prison. A. Is that three now? Why not? I mean, that's the question. Why not? Um, basically, you know, if your opponent's going to blow something up, they might blow it up. But, you know, to me personally, it's not a problem because I can always come back with this deck. That's one thing I like about this deck. I can always come back. And I really want to get rid of their monsters. I don't want their monsters to go to the graveyard for a simple reason. If it goes to the graveyard, they can play in the graveyard. But um, three, Dimension in Prisons. Now, a little tech I like. Three, skill drain. Now, I used to play Dark Worlds back in the day. Uh, when I mean back in the day, I mean when they came out with the Dark World uh, <laughs> structure deck a few years ago. And I played skill drain. And I know how skill drain was just so powerful. It wrecked so many decks. It just destroyed a lot of stuff. Not just that. Your monsters could be normal summon without tribute. They become 1800 attack. Skill drain says... They get the original tag. So you're normal summon a 28 beater. Now you can play King um, Barbaros in this deck. That's also, you know, I have also thought about playing that. But right now, I'm still just playing with this deck. Still kind of working out the kinks. But skill drain is just so good. It has, it, it just shuts down so many decks. You know, it's like, um, your opponent go for mid rash. I'm like, okay, skill drain. Appreciate it. Unless you're going to send a dragon to the graveyard or something of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Skill, skill it up. You know, he has no effect. And not just that, you cannot negate my motherfucking summonings. So, uh, you know, you can eat a dick off that. Eat a bag of foreskins. That's what I'll tell him. And the last, but not least, three black horn of heaven. First thing first, I will say this. I don't play warnings in any of my decks. I never played warning in any of my decks. And simple reason, I don't like warning. I think warning is a bad card. That's my personal opinion. I don't feel like... I should have to pay 2,000 life points to negate a summon. There's other cards out there that is just as good. Um, I've seen people play 2,000 life points to negate a normal summon. Guess what? They got cards like Force Back. Um, Black Horn of Heaven, it doesn't stop everything, but it's free. And a lot of people, a seed summon, a lot of people synchro summon, it basically just stops that. Just get that shit out of here. Now, a buddy of mine says, why you're not running, ask me why I'm not running wire attack and things of that nature. Wire attack is still to me personally a new tech. I don't care too much for the wire attack for a simple reason. Yeah, you might negate that card for the time being, and that could help you win the duel. It could not. But at the same time, you're shuffling it back into the deck, and that's another time your opponent can get that card and play it again. Wire attack to me is not that um, important, not really that special. But three black horns of heavens, the counter trap, it's just too good. It's, it's great. It's, it's, it's just really, really good. Now, let's go down here to my extra deck. Extra deck, I really haven't used any of these monsters except like two of them. Because you can't special summon other monsters that's not cooling when you have these in the pentamon zone. However, with trampoline and tool, you can special, 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 uh, pay eight, go get a monster, then, you know, make, your, make sure your hand is full. Special, 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 special. With his effect, you can bounce this bitch out of your pentamon zone, go ahead and seed up, and then put them back, pin another eight, get another card from your deck to your hand. Another Quillen monster. Now, first thing first, all your monsters are level fours when they're normal summon without tribute. Now, in real life, you know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't do this, but you know, on Dead Pro, it's really, really fun. Three one on ones, and the main reason is it's not about just taking your opponent monsters. It's basically they can't be destroyed as long as they got materials. So, you have to destroy it, what, like two or three times? And that's the main reason I just put three. You know, I was just trying to find something to put in the extra deck. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put three. I only used one so far. One is Sight Knight. I don't care too much for a Sight Knight. I mean, he can help you win the game, but I never actually played him. Uh, we ain't going to say them all. We're doing Cowboy for the burn. I'm thinking about adding an extra Cowboy in here. And the main reason is they're normal. When you special summon these or normal summon them without tribute, they're all level fours. So, if I can get, you know, have trampoline and uh, tool on the field, I will bounce tool, go for cowboy, burn, um, big eye, draggle sack, uh, striker, basically just negate. 
and um, a black ship of corn to send cards. Send monsters that's less than 2100 attack to the graveyard and your opponent takes a thousand. And for my side, once again, I just put some random jank here. Um, word decree because I don't like other people's traps. If you're playing a deck that have this it's saying, I say, I, this crazy amount of trap cards. I'm gonna side this in. I, I really a lot of decks I play. I side deck uh, World Decree. Um, one Book of Moon. I actually had the Book of Moon in there, but I took Book of Moon out just to kind of put this in. This is how it works. And once again, this is when I first put the deck together. So, what do I think of the deck overall? Well, right now I think the deck is great. This hands down. Um, this is the first deck that I will admit that I have seen this destroy, this obliterate Shawdolls. This deck right here is just, it's just too strong. By making your opponent monsters weaker, making your monsters stronger, your monsters cannot be negated. I mean, Midrash is a great card, but it's only at 2200. I'm still going to run the deck, don't get me wrong, I'm still definitely running Shawdolls. But these cards here is just too good. Not just that, their new fill card that they're getting in the next challenger is just retarded. It allows you to have an extra normal summon. It's a continuous um, double summon. That's basically what it is. A continuous double summon. And your uh, card cannot be, your monster cannot be negated when it's summoning. The summon can't be negated. And they got their new god quilling monster. That's just insane. I'm going to make another video on that. But that card is fucking retarded. It says, when you, oh, basically, when that card summon, it says, GG. <laughs> basically, that's it. But that's all I have for Quip Pods. If I left something out, please let me know below. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Johnette.